As the Israel Hamas war rages on and casualties continue to rise on both sides, United Nations convened an emergency meet in New York amid a continuing deadlock at the UN Security Council. Both the countries raised their concerns at the global stage. The Palestinian side tried to highlight the scale of collateral damage civilians are suffering in the Gaza Strip. The Palestinian ambassador claimed that over 7,000 have been killed in the region after Hamas's attack. 7,000 Palestinians have been killed by Israel in the last almost three weeks. 70% of all those killed are women and children. Almost all killed are civilians. Is this the war some of you are defending? Let me repeat, is this the war that some of you are defending. While on the other hand, Israeli ambassador to the UN, Jalal Erdan, shows a video of Hamas brutalities against civilians. He added that there are no words in any language to describe the evil civilians witnessed at the hands of Hamas. Reiterating the comparison of Hamas with ISIS, Israeli representative called Hamas the Islamic State of Gaza. The October 7th massacre and what ensued has nothing to do with the Palestinians. Nothing. It has nothing to do with the Arab-Israeli conflict or the Palestinian question. This is not a war with the Palestinians. Israel is at war with the genocidal jihadist Hamas terror organization. The brutal ISIS-like monsters abducted over 220 hostages from Israel and dozens of other countries, including babies, babies, children, persons with disabilities, the elderly and Holocaust survivors. The President of the UN General Assembly urged member states to rally for peace and unity amidst the West Asian crisis. I urge the membership to use today's session not to further fan the flames of hate, division, and revenge. Let us seize the opportunity instead to unify our purpose and our actions to save lives and to end violence. Meanwhile, other countries also put forward their stance as Iran slammed the genocide being carried out by Israel in the Gaza Strip, while adding that Hamas is ready to release civilian prisoners. Iran also called out the United States for supporting Israel. United States and several European countries are watching and supporting the killing of about 7,000 civilians in less than three weeks by the Israeli regime in Gaza and West Bank of Palestine. And they help this regime military and financially. We recommend the United States to work for peace and security, not war against people, children, and women.